Hello everyone, I am Dr. Ananda Mane, Faculty of Applied Chemistry, Department of Basic Science and Humanities, Kolhapur Institute of Technology, College of Engineering and Autonomous Institute, Kolhapur. In lecture, we will discuss about uh, introduction and sources of water, concept from unit number 1, water technology of applied chemistry subject. Initially, we will uh, discuss about the existence of water on earth, as we know earth has four spheres namely lithosphere which is generally solid outer part of earth hydrosphere which is watery part of earth surface including oceans rivers lakes and water vapors then biosphere where actually life exists and atmosphere which is a thin layer of gases surrounding earth out of these four spheres the water is mainly present in hydrosphere in the form of oceans in the earth surface and in the air in the form of moisture we know that 71 percent of earth surface is occupied by water and 29 percent of earth is occupied by land out of the total uh, global water say 97 percent of water is present as a salt water that is in the form of oceans sea salt water lakes and three percent of water is a fresh water however out of these three uh, percent fresh water 2.7 percent is not accessible as it is locked in frozen lakes glaciers and only 0.3 percent that is 0.003 percent of total global water is available for man use also we know that the human body contains about 60 percent of water if we talk about the properties of water then water is a colorless odorless and tasteless liquid with hexagonal crystal structure due to intermolecular hydrogen bonding molecular formula of water is h2o its molecular weight is 18 gram However, due to repulsion between lone pair of electron and oxygen atom and bond pair between oxygen and hydrogen, the bond angle EHO EH is 104.5 degrees with the structural shape is tetrahedral. Also, we know that the water has high specific heat capacity of 4.184 joules per gram at 25 degrees Celsius. That uh, specific heat capacity is nothing but the amount of heat required to raise the temperature of unit mass of a substance through 1 degree Celsius which indicates that water has a high tendency to absorb heat and also it will require more time to cool down and therefore water is used as a coolant in car radiators as it can absorb a large amount of heat energy from the engine of the car without its temperature rising too high. Water has a high surface tension of 72 milli Newton per meter at 25 degrees Celsius which allows some insects and other small animals with a, a minimum weight to walk across surface of water without sinking. Water has high dielectric constant of 78.6 which plays an important role in water being as a universal solvent. In case of uh, uh, sources of water, generally uh, sources of water are broadly classified into two types, one is surface water and second is underground water. However, surface water is again divided into four types, rain water, river water, lake water and sea water. Rain water which is generally obtained as a result of evaporation of surface water. However, during the journey of rainwater towards the earth's surface, it comes in contact with a number of gases just like carbon dioxide, nitrogen dioxide, sulfur trioxide, sulfur dioxide and suspended solid particles and these uh, impurities dissolve in water and we can conclude that rainwater contains dissolved gases impurities and uh, suspended solid uh, particles as the impurities. Generally, rain water and spring water they form uh, river water. However, river comes in contact with soil for longer time, and therefore, river water contains dissolved minerals of soil such as chlorides, sulphates, bicarbonates of sodium, calcium, iron, and magnesium, etc. In more amount. Also, river water contains organic matter derived from the decomposition of plants and animals. River water contains sand and rocks in suspension in finely divided uh, particle form. Means river water. Uh, contains here dissolved salt impurities, dissolved uh, organic matter as a colloidal impurities, dissolved suspended impurities. However, lake water has more constant chemical composition because the lake water is a constant water as compared to river water, which is uh, likely to be flowing water. Lake water is a uh, constant water, and therefore. Uh, whatever organic waste we are uh, throwing into the lake water here due to decomposition of that organic waste, whatever uh, 
organic material generated that remains into the lake water for a longer time and we can say lake water has more constant chemical composition however lake water contains much lesser amount of dissolved in minerals than even uh, well water and finally sea water which is the most impure form of natural water as we know river joins sea and through all the impurities carried by them sea water contains about 3.5 percent of dissolved salts out of which uh, uh, 2.6 percent is sodium chloride sea water also contains sulfates of sodium bicarbonates of potassium magnesium and calcium bromides of potassium and magnesium and number of any many other compounds are also present in sea water the second main type of uh, uh, source of water is nothing but underground water as a part of rain water which uh, reaches to the surface some part of the rain water percolates into the earth crust and uh, during its journey towards downward it comes in contact with many minerals and salts present in soil and dissolve some of them water continues its downward journey and when it reaches to the hard rock it comes in the uh, form of springs uh, and retreats upward uh, even in the form of small small uh, springs here thank you thank you